What is up, my wonderful dialysis nursing friends? Today is the day. We are finally, we are finally going to talk about this wonderful dialysis machine. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Dialysis is complicated. Dialysis nursing is complicated. And guess what? The dialysis machine is complicated too. But I'm going to make it simple for you guys. I know, right? And of course, please hit that subscribe button so you do not miss out on any of my fun new videos about dialysis nursing. And you just never know when Bubba's gonna make a cameo. The dialysis machine pretty much works in two ways. It uses diffusion and it uses ultrafiltration. It uses diffusion to clean the blood. Correct electrolytes specifically bring that potassium down because we all know high potassium causes cardiac death. And correct acid base balance. Then it uses ultrafiltration to remove extra fluid from the patient. I'm so proud of this machine. I was up late last night putting this thing together and I want to take the time to give you a brief tour of what we've got going on here. We've got a sloth here, but the pump is definitely faster than a sloth, but I just think he's cute. So first we are going to remove the blood from the patient. We're going to send it through the pump and then send it up through the dialyzer where all of the magic happens, where the diffusion and ultrafiltration happen. And then we will send the blood back to the patient. One of the safety features of these machines is a system air detector alarm. We also have a liquid acid concentrate. It usually has potassium in it, calcium, magnesium, citric acid. And then we also have sodium bicarb or baking soda. If you've ever looked at baking soda, the ingredients are sodium bicarbonate. So this is an acid and this is a base and it mixes to form like a pH of between 6.8 and 7.3. So when this mixes together, when this acid concentrate and the sodium bicarbonate mixes together, it forms something called dialysate. And dialysate, I'm not sure if you can read that, but this mixed together is dialysate, and this is where the diffusion happens. So if it's been a while for some of you, I will give you a, a quick refresher of what diffusion is. Diffusion is the movement of anything from a region of high concentration to low concentration. So here we have a lot of red dots, then we have a semi-permeable membrane, and then we have less red dots. Over time, these red dots are gonna cross that semi-permeable membrane until everything is equal. And here's how it applies to dialysis. We have blood, we have a semi-permeable membrane or the dialyzer, and then we have dialysate. On the blood side, we have red blood cells and they cannot cross that membrane. We also have higher levels of potassium. We have waste products like blood urea nitrogen and creatinine. The people that are on dialysis also tend to have metabolic acidosis, so they have a lower pH. On the dialysate side, we have lower levels of potassium. We have a pH between 6.8 and 7.3, so this is going to equal out. The BUN and the creatinine is going to start crossing that semi-permeable membrane because there's no waste products over here and it wants wants to be equal. This is diffusion. Potassium will also start crossing that semi-permeable membrane. So now let's get refreshed on ultrafiltration. And remember, ultrafiltration is how fluid is removed from the patient's blood. This is how we remove extra fluid from the patient. Here's my visual. The machine is going to apply pressure. It's going to apply pressure to push that blood, but you know, red blood cells don't leave the tubing. It does not cross the semi-permeable membrane. Here again is the dialyzer, but it's able to push smaller molecules through there. It's able to push that excess fluid through that semi-permeable membrane, and then it comes out on the other side as ultrafiltrate. Essentially, diffusion does three things. Ultrafiltration does one thing. Ultrafiltration is how the machine removes fluid from the patient's bloodstream. If they're having intradilytic symptoms from fluid removal, that's when we put them in minimum UFR or minimum ultrafiltration. Isn't dialysis just so cool? Thank you so much for watching. If you cannot get enough dialysis, please click on my Facebook link below and join my Facebook group. We have a lot of good energy in there. Thank you, Bubba, for being my guest star today. And I can't wait to talk more dialysis with you all again.